Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, big uh, triangle that consists of three smaller triangles uh, as well as uh, this uh, blue quadrilateral such that the area of this uh, green triangle is 44 centimeter square. The area for this uh, yellow triangle is 33 centimeter square and the area for this uh, pink uh, triangle is uh, 22 centimeter square and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, blue quadrilateral please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe so let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100 percent true to the scale let's go ahead and get started with the solution and since uh, we are dealing with this uh, challenging uh, kind of problem Therefore, we are going to think outside the box and I am going to connect uh, these points B and uh, F. And here's our much nicer looking uh, diagram. Now we can see that this blue quadrilateral has been divided into two parts. Let's suppose the area of this uh, triangle is uh, A and the area for this uh, triangle is uh, lowercase b and now let's go over the basic uh, quick review and this review is going to help us uh, solving this given uh, problem and here we got uh, these uh, two triangles this is the red one and this is the blue one the base for this uh, red triangle is x units the base for this blue triangle is y units now we can see the height for these both triangles is same then we are going to have this proportion according to this one the ratio of the areas of these triangles are going to be equal to the ratios of their base lengths and here's our next step let's focus on these two triangles a c d and uh, b c d let's assume that the base of this uh, triangle a c d is uh, x1 and the base for this uh, triangle b c d is uh, y1 now we can see that both of these uh, triangles have the same uh, height as you can see so therefore we are going to use this very same concept so therefore the ratio of their areas is going to be equal to the ratio of their uh, base uh, lengths in our case uh, the areas for these uh, triangles are 33 plus a plus b and the area for this uh, other triangle is uh, 22 plus 44 therefore we are going to have a ratio of a plus b plus 33 divided by 22 plus 44 equals to the ratio of their corresponding base lengths this one is y1 and this is x1 so i can write y1 divided by x1 let's go ahead and simplify let me go ahead and call this our equation number one and here's our next step let's focus on these uh, triangles a f d and b f d so once again we are going to use this uh, ratio of their areas equal to the ratio of their base lengths in our case uh, our ratio for their areas is b divided by 22 let me go ahead and write down b divided by 22 equals to their corresponding base lengths is y1 divided by x1 let me go ahead and call this our equation number two and now let's go ahead and compare equations one and two since the right hand sides are same so therefore we can equate the left hand sides so let's go ahead and equate those ones a plus b plus 33 divided by 66 equals to b divided by 22 let's go ahead and remove this fraction by multiplying both sides by 66 over here and 66 on the right hand side 
as well. And here we can see 66 and 66 is gone. So we ended up with A plus B equal to 33 equal to 22 goes into 66, 3. So we got a 3B. And here we can see this 3B and negative 3B is gone. So therefore, we are ended up with the A minus 2B plus 33 equal to 0. Let me go ahead and call this as our equation number 3. And here's our next step. Let's focus on these uh, two triangles, uh, CAE and uh, BAE. Let's assume the base length for this uh, triangle uh, BAE is uh, x2 and the base for this other triangle is uh, y2. And now we can see both of these uh, triangles have the same height as you can see. Therefore, the ratio of the areas is going to be equal to the ratio of their base lengths. So therefore, the ratio of their areas is going to be this one as I wrote down in the numerator and divided by 33 plus 44 at the denominator equals to the ratio of their corresponding base lengths x2 divided by y2 as you can see on the right hand side and I have simplified this denominator this turns out to be 77 as you can see in this next step go ahead and call this our equation number four and here's our next step let's focus on these uh, two triangles uh, CFE and uh, BFE. We can see that both of these triangles have the same height over here. So therefore, the ratio of their areas are going to be equal to the ratio of their base lengths. Therefore, we can write uh, the ratio of their areas A divided by 33, as you can see over here equals to the ratio of their corresponding uh, base lengths x2 divided by y2 as you can see on the right hand side. Let me go ahead and call this our equation number 5. And now let's go ahead and compare equations 4 and 5. We can see the right hand sides are same. So therefore we can equate the left hand side as well. So therefore I can write A plus B plus 22 divided by 77 equal to A divided by 33. Let's go ahead and reduce these fractions by multiplying both sides by 11 on this side and 11 on this side as well. And we can see at the denominator we are going to get 7 once we reduce it. Likewise, we're going to get 3 once we reduce the right hand side. Let's go ahead and cross multiply. So therefore, we are going to get 3a plus 3b plus 66 equal to 7a. Let's go ahead and subtract 7a from both sides. This is gone. So therefore, we ended up with the negative 4a plus 3b plus 66 equal to 0. Let me call this our equation number 6. And here's our next step. We have got these equations 3 and 6 over here. And we are going to solve this system for a and b by using the elimination method. Therefore, since we got a negative 4a over here, so I'm going to make it a positive 4a over here by just multiplying both sides by 4. And here I distributed 4 across the board and we got this on the right hand side. And I have copied down this equation as it is. And now let's go ahead and add these two equations. This cancels out. So we ended up with negative 5b plus if we add these numbers, we are going to get 198 equal to 0. Let's subtract negative 198. This is gone. So negative 5b turns out to be negative 198. So therefore, our b value turns out to be 198 divided by 5. 
And now we are going to find the value of a by just simply plugging in this uh, b value in this equation uh, 3. And here's our equation uh, 3. Let's go ahead and uh, replace this b by this uh, value 198 divided by 5. And here I replaced uh, this b by this uh, value. Now in this next step, 2 times 198 turns out to be 396. Now let's move all these numbers on the right hand side. As you can see in this our next step. Now let's focus on this right hand side and I have simplified this one over here. 33 could be written as 165 divided by 5. So this is equal to this 231 divided by 5. So therefore our a value finally turns out to be 231 divided by 5. So therefore we can see our this uh, a value this uh, area turns out to be 231 divided by 5 and the area for this uh, b part is 198 divided by 5. So therefore the combined area for this blue quadrilateral is going to be a plus b as you can see and here are their values I added them up and if we simplify everything our a plus b turns out to be equal to 85.8. So therefore the combined area for this blue quadrilateral turns out to be equal to 85.8. Thus the area of this blue quadrilateral turns out to be 85.8 centimeters square. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.